Ready? One! The war in Ukraine has been continuing for several years. At this point, many people may have forgotten that it's even happening. But it is very much an active war zone. Today, I speak with my friend Jeff Breezy. Jeff? James? Thank you so much for coming in to talk to me. My pleasure. Jeff and I met while in the Montana National Guard, and he just got back from four months in the Ukraine fighting on the front lines. Let's talk to him about his experience. So I'll just get right into it, man. Sure. Why go? Well, basically, well, first of all, I got a background there because my ex-wife, and I, we got a daughter who's half Ukrainian. And like when I was married for 15 years, I probably went over there about eight or 10 times. So I knew the place and then I spoke a little Russian. And also, just like the same motivation when I joined the Marines at 18. I fight for life, liberty, and a pursuit of happiness. I was in the, it's called the International Legion for the Defense of Ukraine. It's an arm of the Armed Force of Ukraine. We just call it ILDU. So in my class, we had guys from every European, almost every European country. Two guys from Taiwan, one guy from Malaysia. But it was the same motivation. It's like, why did you guys come here? And it was like, Everything from, I just can't stand bullies, to I saw evil and I wanted to do something about it. I want to put a stop to it. Obviously, you have an Army background, Marine Corps, yeah. uh, and sounds like a lot of the people there. What kind of training was provided by the Ukrainian military? It was like a month long, and the instructors are awesome. They base it off FM 7-8, mostly a little bit of input from the, the Marine Corps. A lot of infantry training. Uh, ruck, we, yeah, ruck marching, actions on contact, CQB. I had an AK-47 issued to me. And then we had the same kind of gear as we got in the U.S. Had a Kevlar, had sappy plates, uh, plate carrier. What would you say is the status over there right now? We're, in our sector, there was, uh, it was mostly conscript to mobilized guys. Most of them didn't want to be there. We had a lot of surrenders, a lot of give ups. And we just go out and pop off a few 82 millimeters. And it weren't accurate because that equipment is like old Soviet stuff that is worn out. But that was enough to scare these guys back. It's like most of the time we stayed underground because the Russians had drones up. Do you think you'll go back? I kind of feel like I don't want to be one of those guys who says his luck ran out. I feel really lucky. Yeah, it was an amazing experience. The best thing is the friends I made. People out there support Ukraine. Uh, they need our help. I think we can do it. Uh, they need ammo right now really bad. That's the biggest thing is they need ammo. Well, thank you so much hey. for coming in. Thanks, James. And talking with me um, and sharing your stories. From Great Falls, I'm James Rowland, MTN News.